Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the latest issue of Warhammer 40k Imperium magazine. Now, as per usual with all these videos, if you like them, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and of course, drop a comment down below. I love hearing back from you guys and it goes a massive way to help the channel too. Now, this week we're on issue 46 of Imperium magazine and we have one of the things that I was most looking forward to with this collection which is our Adeptus Sororitas or at least the first half of the Adeptus Sororitas that we're getting. So we already have our Canon S from a couple of weeks ago and now we have two Seraphim, three Battle Sisters, an Arco Flagellant and our uh, uh, Repentia uh, units. We will get the other half in a few issues time but really really good stuff so this you can get going with on these girls uh, if you want to straight away and paint them up very very similar to how you already have but I must admit the sisters are one of the kind of uh, armies that I was most looking forward to seeing and uh, they're definitely my army of choice now for 40k I decided it took me a long while to decide but yeah this is my army of choice but really really good stuff into the issue itself we are greeted by a page about the battle sisters itself so the battle sisters obviously being warriors of faith and they form the front line of all adeptus sororitas armies armored in thick ceramite plate and empowered by faith battle sisters surge forward heedless of incoming fire chanting prayers to the god emperor and dispensing his justice upon the heretic and the xenos so with the page as per usual it's going to give you a breakdown of the kind of items that you would regularly find carried by the Adeptus Sororitas. Obviously they have that ceramite plate just like Space Marines do. Uh, they have their own unique iconography so they do have a fleur de lis as their main symbol of the Adeptus Sororitas no matter what chat, uh, order they are from. But yeah really really good stuff uh, and it marks uh, them very well. Uh, the icon is also uh, often emblazoned upon the helmets uh, of Sister Superior to mark their rank. And of course they also carry bolters which is very very standard for pretty much anything within the Imperium. They carry these heavy bolters, pistol bolters and much much more. Uh, but they also can carry things like flamers as well which of course flamethrowers always a very nice weapon to uh, have in your arsenal but yeah they look really really cool they look fun and um, yeah definitely definitely a cool bunch of ladies here as well which is really really good on the other page of course you can also give them their battle records so the squad name their specialism as well which you roll from that d6 chart if you wish to uh, and then you can also name your sisters so you can name the four sisters there and you can also give them their origins, so whether they were orphaned, for instance, uh, a last surviving scion of a knightly family, or they could, of course, be uh, abandoned in the wake of a Tyranid attack, and much, much more. You also get to track miracles as well for them, which is pretty decent and pretty different and pretty cool. But yeah, really, really good stuff. And of course, being absolute badasses that they are, uh, really, really good and good fun. Then we have information about our Seraphim, which are our flying units. So these are equipped with jump packs and wielding a variety of pistol weapons. Seraphim squads thunder down from the heavens like avenging angels. They use their superior speed and maneuverability to outflank their opponents, crashing into their flanks before taking flight once more. So of course they have these pretty cool jet packs, packs which are very, very different to the jet packs that the Space Marines have. Uh, and these look more like they are actually folded up wings, in all honesty. But they look really, really good no matter what, and they are pretty damn cool. The Sister Superior is often armed with a power sword as well, which allows her to engage enemy warriors in melee combat. And of course they do carry bolt pistols uh, as part of their primary weaponry uh, as bog standard with majority of other uh, Imperial armies. But really, really good stuff and it's cool to see these ladies uh, detailed as well. And of course it is a background page so we can give them their battle records, so their squad name, strategy and you can also name all of the uh, squad itself as well as giving them their origin so you could have them uh, orphans again uh, you could have them as the daughter of a martyred warrior or you could even have them as uh, their parents had been killed by the gene stealer cultists and much much more and again because of course it is a very very religious sect of the imperium uh, you could have them uh, having their miracles as well 
so really really cool stuff but yeah damn good damn good stuff then you got your how to build guide so your how to build guide detailing the how to build the three battle sisters your two seraphim your arco flagellant and your repentia follow the instructions there are some smaller pieces with these kits than there have been for some of the others that we've had so be careful with it really really good stuff when you get going though uh, absolutely fantastic models i must admit i really really like them uh, you also have different size bases for this one as well so you do have uh, your 32 mil so you should have five 32 mil bases you should have a 28 mil base which is for your sister repentia and you should have a 25 mil base for your arco flagellant as well so try not to get them all confused but really really good stuff uh, and of course you can top them how you want so if you want to you can use the same ground coverings that you've been using for others like the magazine will tell you to or you can do them slightly different entirely up to you but really really good stuff and quite fun to do as well so really really cool but you can make them more unique if you do change bases up your painting guide now for me personally painting them up depends on which order you have picked so if you are following the order that the magazine is following you can paint them up exactly the same way that you painted up your Canon S model from a couple of weeks ago and it will look fantastic. If you want to though you can of course have them slightly different if you haven't painted up your Canon S you can always change, choose different orders. Um, for instance there are many out there you can even make your own up depending on what colour scheme you want to go for but have a bit of fun with it enjoy it but this guide is actually pretty handy because it will teach you kind of how to paint up uh, in a decent color scheme so utilizing different coats as well so utilizing for instance a bad and black as a base coat which is not the usual base coat that this magazine wants to go for but they look really really good with that base coat uh, and utilizing your normal oil to get in them dark recesses bring everything together make it look really cool and i'm sure you're going to get some really fantastic looking minis out of the end of it but yeah really really good stuff follow the guide for your good old sisters and your seraphim and they'll look something like that uh, when they're done and they'll look really really nice for your arco flagellant and your repentia there's a lot more flesh on show so utilizing the corax white and reikland flesh shade actually does make a lot of sense makes it quite neat neat brings it all together and gives you that kind of a uh, pale fleshy look for the flesh which is quite handy once it's all done it will look not too bad it will look a little bit kind of weird in all honesty i don't i'm not a big fan of that flesh color i think it's a little bit off um, and doesn't look quite right uh, but it does work in all honesty in the context of things it does kind of work so it's not too too bad then we have our data sheets for the battle sister squad and the seraphim squad as well so and their power stats so of course a squad would uh, normally of course uh, consist of for your battle sisters nine battle sisters and one sister superior uh, so six of the models can be equipped with bolt guns one is equipped with a ministerian flamer one equipped with an artificer crafted storm bolter one equipped with bolt gun and simicarum imperialis and the sister superior is also equipped with bolt gun and chainsword so very really good stuff and all models can carry bolt pistols frag grenades and crack grenades as well so plenty of kit that these ladies take into battle with them your seraphim squad you'll have four uh, seraphim and then you will have one seraphim superior so the seraphim superior is equipped with a plasma pistol and power sword uh, and all models are equipped with frag grenades and crack grenades uh, but yeah really really good stuff but all the others are of course equipped with two bolt pistols so they look really really cool and pretty damn good stuff as well so obviously following them for all of them makes them look really really good stuff as well if you have gone for a black armor of course you are the order of aromated lady but you don't have to stick with that if you do not wish to you get your in your tutorial as well for sky strikes uh so utilizing the flying capabilities of your adeptus aureus are pretty damn cool in all honesty as well then we head into our battle for this week which is engage and eliminate so for this you are utilizing in the forces of the necrons uh, one overlord two immortals two scarab swarms and one canaptic wraith from last week 
Uh, going up against our Reductus Rorotus in the shape of our Cannoness, three Battle Sisters, two Seraphim, and three Assault Intercessors. So we're not using that Arco Flagellant yet or the Repentia. But yeah, really, really good stuff. Uh, and yeah, it is literally total annihilation. He's literally smash hell out of each other. Have a bit of fun. And uh, yeah, really, really good stuff. On to next week, though, we do get some pretty cool bits. So next week uh, is not actually the best issue, in all honesty. So I don't know why I said it was pretty cool. Um, we get paint. That's it. Just paint. We have Pink Horror and we have Wild Rider Red. Yeah, they're not too bad. Um, they'll come in handy, I'm sure. But yeah, it's just paint. So not the most brilliant issue. Issue 48, we do get some more scenery. So if you're like me, you want to paint all your scenery, you want to have it looking very, very nice and having it pretty damn easy, spray paint it. I've said it before, spray paint it because Otherwise, it is going to take a whole pot of paint to paint up all your scenery and it's going to take ages and it might look a bit streaky as well and you don't want that. So, by all means, spray paint it, whether you're using Games Workshop Zone spray paint, Army Painter spray paint, Halford spray paint or anything like that, spray it. You need a satin finish on it to get it really good, uh, a few washes and other shades of paint that you can brush on and it will look absolutely fine. Have a bit of fun with it, enjoy yourself. Mm, but yeah really really good now thank you very very much for watching i'm gonna go enjoy the sunshine for a little bit longer and uh yeah have a good evening thank you very much for watching and i'll catch you next time bye bye now